Hello, my name is Clinton Clegg. I'm a simulation specialist here at Wiser. Today we're going to go over troubleshooting pulses in your Simman Classic. Now the first thing you want to check, and it might sound silly, but I'm going to say it anyways, just to make sure he's connected. Generally, that's the first rule. Just make sure all your basic physical connections to your link box are in place. Once you know that isn't what's going on and that's in place, we can get under the chest skin, lift our chest plate out, see under his left lung, this connection here is the connection from his board that drives the pulses. If you see that's in place, it's probably not your issue. So the first thing you want to do is to get into the, where the module lives is take the skin flap off of the simulator's arm. You can use your fingernail to get it up uh, or you can use a razor. But, but the important part is, is to not just rip it off because they, are, they, they can tear and then they're useless. So what you really want to do is, is be very careful and get past the glue, go right along the crease and get up under That way you're, use your fingernail a little bit and make sure that you're not destroying the skin flap because you'll want to reuse that later. So you get under with the razor and once you get it going, it kind of comes right up. But again, be very careful and make sure you're not tearing the skin flaps because we will reuse these when we're done. So we got one side. And the other side kind of comes up. And I would just leave the other side on. No need to cut it because you have your access. Um, so the first thing you want to check is that your module is connected. So you can get right in there and pull your module up. You can see that this one is connected. And that's the connection you want to see. Make sure that's secure. You can even reseat that just to make sure your connection is secure. But nine times out of ten, that's usually what the issue is with these modules. They become unfastened, and that's your issue. You reconnect and your pulse is back. Sometimes these go bad, and you can get these modules from Laredal. Um, and you can replace them yourself. Okay, so once you uh, have determined that the issue with your pulses is physical and it's, it's part of the hardware, this is the arm broken down in all its different pieces. So whether it's your modules have gone bad, or maybe uh, your wire got destroyed somehow, or possibly uh, the speaker went bad or, or, or got destroyed or anything like that. Th this is every functioning component of the arm. So just to give you an idea of, of everything. And this, this is also the tools that will make uh, replacing a module or uh, removing uh, the piece of the skin here to get to the module uh, the easiest from start to finish. So uh, we have our speaker here for our blood pressure. Um, we have our modules for the pulses. Um, these little foam guys uh, go over top of the modules like that. Once they sit in there, these are our skin flaps. This is an a ET tube stylet, um, which is just a really helpful tool uh, to get the wire down through the arm. And I'll show you a little bit of that later. Uh, future glue, super glue, any basic super glue when we put our skin back on. And then a razor blade, this is to help uh, remove the skin a lot easier and make sure that we do it cleanly so that we can reuse it. And then also some hemostats to help pull the different connections through the arm itself. 
Um, so now let's uh, let's run this wire through this arm. Okay, so to reinsert your wire, whether you're replacing it or whatever reason you might have had everything apart, you start at the top, send your first, and then this through. And it's tough. You gotta kind of shove them through, but you wanna be gentle because you don't wanna break anything. Once you get all this through, this clear tube, you want to get through as well. Once you get that in, shove it all the way down, about to there, because you still got to run this back through the simulator and get it to its uh, connection inside. So then you want to go down, starting at the top. It makes things easier if you start at the top um, and start pulling through your different connections. And this is where Stylet really comes in handy because it's flexible and it makes it just a really easy tool to find your wires. So I just kind of make it a hook and then go fishing. And once I kind of see it, I, I go in with the hemostats. Then we get it through. So you got your first one through. And once it's through, I'd, I'd make it a point to connect so it doesn't fall back down to the arm. And you can move on to your next. I see it there. And this comes through. And be careful because these are delicate. Okay, then connect your speaker. And then the last one, luckily came right through. Not always the case. Sometimes you get lucky. Reconnect that. And then we're ready to put our skins back on. The modules have these foam covers, which just lay like right like that. And our skin goes over top like that. So we want to use super glue on the skin. And you want to be very careful because, you know, you know, the skin, you only get so many shots of doing this. So make sure your module is seated properly not sitting on top of the wire because that'll create it to push up and it won't fit right so once it's down in there what i tend to do is start on one side Just to get one edge down properly and then it's a lot easier to work the rest. Once that side's in place, I'll, I like to let it sit and kind of let the glue get established. Just kind of hold that there. Make sure you don't glue your fingers on, which I've done many times. Okay. So just continue to work the skin down onto the glue and hold it. And it takes it takes a second to to bond. Sometimes I'll even use a clamp. And this is a process, so you can take breaks, let you know, make sure the glue bonds, and then start on the other side. And take your time and make sure it, you know, everything bonds properly and that it looks clean and back to what it was when you started. And once your skin's back in place, you remove your clamps, we're back in business. Good as new. Your pulse has been replaced. And uh, 
uh, that's it for pulses. Thanks for tuning in and be sure to check out more tech tips from Wiser. Thank you.